I started Bald is Beautiful after I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer at the age of 28. And I went through three years of treatment, and part of that, of course, was chemotherapy, and I lost my hair. Um, and I used to have really, really long hair down to my lower back, and that was really a central part of my identity. So losing my hair was actually a really difficult part of my experience. And so I just, I got this idea for myself that I wanted to take pictures of myself like a beauty shoot for myself in my new form without hair. So I did that and it really felt beautiful. And it, it, that just planted the seed and the spark in my mind of, oh, uh, that's something that maybe not everyone knows that they can do to make themselves feel better while they're going through this thing. So I just kind of put it in the back of my mind, oh, when I finish with this cancer thing, I'm gonna do Bald is Beautiful. And then when I finished treatment, I really, I put together a mission statement and I really wanted to do something to use visual media and fashion and film and television to put the image out there in a positive, empowering way for women to have something to look, look at that doesn't say death or negativity or doom and gloom and, and to, so that they can embrace everything that's happening along their journey with a sense of positivity, even the painful parts, but still in a self-loving way. So that is the, that's the root of Bald is Beautiful. What made me want to be a part of a Beauty Reboot is the fact that I think a lot of women who go through cancer, um, young or old, but especially for the younger people, is that we end up developing a lot of image issues um, because your body changes. Like for me, with the breast cancer, you know, I lost both my breasts and they got like charred from radiation. And I lost my nipples, and it just makes you feel really. Um, down on yourself when you already had to go through the entire process of cancer, which is already severely defeating. Um, so being part of something like this, it kind of helps you gain a little bit of your confidence back and help you realize, you know, that the beauty is still there and, you know, you don't necessarily need all these things to feel beautiful. My name is Lucia. I am a photographer of women. I started focusing on women exclusively in my portrait business because as a woman, I know how incredibly hard it is to see our own beauty and feel beautiful and powerful on our own skin. And I also have learned how incredibly tied in our sense of our own beauty becomes with our sense of our self-worth. And when we look in the mirror and see a woman that we don't think is beautiful enough or isn't beautiful at all, we also probably feel that woman doesn't deserve, isn't deserving of love or success. And I feel like that's an epidemic <laughs> in our society and in young women especially. And so I, I want to photograph women to show them they are beautiful, just the way they are. One of the beauties of, of the three women I was blessed to photograph in this shoot was how incredibly different they all were and how and what different places they were coming at this experience from from Megan being, you know, right in the middle of the cancer journey and going through treatment and, you know, not knowing what was going to happen and and Sendaya who's 2 years out of in remission and getting back to real life but still, you know, had a lot to come to terms with with her own image and I I hope I helped her with that and then Sharon who's, you know, been in remission for a long time and has taken her journey through cancer to empower other women. And she's been in front of the camera and she's found her own beauty in her and embraced the, you know, bald is beautiful. And I think that having those three separate personalities and three trajectories come together, I'm hoping that can show people wherever they are in their journey that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, that they are beautiful just the way they are and just help in some way. Honestly, if we can just touch one life and just show one woman that she is still herself, that she's still beautiful, that she's still a complete person, she's not a patient, she's not a victim, she's just a warrior, and you know, if, if we can give her any sense of positivity and, and change in her viewpoint, then it's a success. My one piece of advice would be just to reach out to other people, to not feel like you are alone, to not feel like you are a victim of this disease, 
Um, unfortunately, they're saying one in eight women will be diagnosed. So the more awareness that we can bring to this disease and uh, the more we can do for each other, I think. I, mean, I have just such faith that, that cancer is going to be gone in a few years and that this is going to be just like a little blip on the map of my life and that by the end of it, it's going to be, it's going to be great. And I, like, I already know that I'm another, a different person. There's a big growth that's happened with me and um, coming into my own in a way that I don't think I would have been able to have if I didn't have cancer, which is so bizarre to say that cancer is bringing out the best in me, but cancer can bring out the best in you and it can make you a better person and a stronger person and just to em embrace it and reach out to others because there are people that have gone through it and you will rise up and they will rise you up with them because there's a lot of people that want to help. I want to hold up a mirror to these women and say, look at this woman. She is beautiful. She is powerful. She is strong. She is deserving of love. And she's enough, just the way she is.